top three tips to combat rising inflation to protect your family. Feeling stifled by the constant price increase nowadays? These days, the term inflation is almost used in every newsroom or serious conversation about our current economy. However, inflation is often misused and misunderstood. So what is inflation and how does it impact personal and family finances? If you're worried about inflation and how your family might be affected, you may feel like you're helpless. But do you know that you do have some control over how inflation affects your family's finances? Watch till the end of this video to know more about how inflation works and proven ways how you can lessen the impact of inflation on your household. Hello everyone and welcome to Save Money Tricks. Save Money Tricks is your number one source for innovative, easy, and proven ways to both make and save money. And if you don't want to miss anything about our amazing tips, then smack the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. So what is inflation? From a loaf of bread to a tank of gas, everything seems to be more expensive day by day. According to experts, inflation in the United States recently hit a 40-year high, jumping to 8% in the past year. To begin with, we need to know what is inflation. Many of us were never taught in school what inflation is. Inflation is the increase in prices over time. Inflation also means the subsequent decrease in the value of money. Purchasing power decreases as the cost of goods increases. As an example, $1 in April of 2002 has the same buying power as $1.50 in April 2022, meaning that you need to spend $1.50 today to buy what a dollar could get 20 years ago. As the economy fluctuates, understanding how inflation works and what ways you can do to lower its effect on your finances either individually or in protecting your family can help you prepare financially. However, it is important to take note that not all goes up in price. In fact, some products are cheaper now than they used to be, though the overall trend is for prices to go up over time. Another important nuance is the rate at which this happens. In American history, there are many cases where inflation is higher or lower than average. Understanding inflation you can keep the value of your money by understanding inflation. This is a crucial step to safeguard your finances. Just like in putting up a business, it is easier to grow when you know your cost in the next five years. This helps the economy grow at a sustainable pace, generating higher incomes and new jobs. There are many reasons for taking inflation into account in your financial plan, and these are the following. One to make sure your assets keep pace with inflation. Two, to make sure that your retirement financial goals are met whilst also taking into consideration the assumed inflation rate. And three, to account for future purchase price hikes, weddings, homes, cars, etc. Is inflation bad for your family? The answer is both yes and no. A moderate level of inflation means a growing economy for the country, which also means prices will rise over time. With that said, your family will also benefit if the economy is growing, more opportunities will open, and improved government services. However, economic growth brings possible inflation, and higher inflation can be bad for your family. This can mean that basic necessities you need for your family will cost more than they used to. Can you do something about inflation? The answer is yes. There are several ways that really work that you can take to help your family weather the effects of inflation. Keep watching to know more on how to battle inflation, how to combat the ramification of inflation. There are some things you can do to lessen its impact on your finances since avoiding inflation is completely impossible. First, you need to know what is short and long-term inflation. Short-term inflation is responsible for driving competition and the temporary increase of prices, and which is also directly associated to supply and demand issues. Long-term inflation is more gradual and normally based on a broader variety of factors. While both types of inflation are very challenging to deal with, the tactic for dealing with each may differ. 
The best way to combat the impact of long-term inflation is to increase the power of your income or invest in a way that helps you multiply your money at a pace that exceeds the rate of inflation. Here are three ways to survive short and long-term inflation. 1. Learn to budget. This may seem basic, but take this step seriously. A small price increase can go unnoticed, especially in a world where so many of us use a card or auto pay for bills. Our habits also lead our attention away from price increases. Don't get caught up in the details, but keep an eye on your family's monthly spending. And it is better to prioritize some aspects of your family spending and cut back on others. Reevaluate budgets or spending plans to cut down unnecessary spending. It is important for you to regularly revisit your budget to ensure your accounting for price changes over time since both temporary and lasting inflation will impact the cost of everyday items. Consider ways to save money on areas where your large budget goes such as gas, utilities, and food which are normally impacted by temporary price increases areas when you hear that inflation might be driving prices higher. 2. Monitor your salary. It's important to pay attention to your salary and other compensation at work in a period of higher inflation. Why? Asking for a raise could help you keep up with the cost of living as inflation increases and the value of your money decreases. It may become difficult to afford your typical spending if the cost of goods goes up over time but your pay remains the same. Although inflation may spike the cost of everyday items, you'll know you can cover the incremental new costs when you increase your income, which also means bringing in more money each month. Remember before asking for a wage increase? Check with your employer if they have a policy in place to cover inflation. Many companies increase wages over time to help employees in battling the changes in their cost of living. As always, it's important to keep up with your credit to ensure your credit health is in a good place. 3. Save money on food. Consume your food carefully. According to a recent study, 45% of food waste comes from our kitchens. Some of the strategies that support sustainability while keeping more money in your bank account are the following. Shopping with more precision, consuming leftovers, and taking inventory inside your kitchen cabinets and fridges before hitting the grocery store. Buy frozen. With the technological advances in rapid deep freeze, the quality is just as good when thawed, and you can easily save 35% to 50% on the price. Invest in a separate freezer where you can store bread, cheese, and other perishable foods to boost their shelf life by an extra three to six months. Time to diversify where you shop. You may also want to check for great deals at drugstores, dollar stores, and even big box retailers, which are already expanding fresh food and pantry offerings, sometimes at a lower price than grocery stores. And finally, don't only rely on sales at the supermarket, always scout for new places. Start to shop store brands. In my opinion, the quality of store label goods is just as solid as the name brand variety, and they sell for as much as 30% to 50% less. So whether you're at Costco or Sam's Club or the local supermarket, keep an eye out for the store's own private label. Usually, you can find these products in the pantry and fresh food section. Consider buying discounted gift cards for eating out. You can often find solid savings on cards partnered with chain restaurants, as opposed to grocery stores, which tend to sell out faster. Gift card resale sites like Card Cash and Raise let you buy discounted cards from a variety of brands. For instance, recently on Card Cash, I found a gift card to Subway for 15% off. Whether we like it or not, inflation happens, but think of inflation as an opportunity to re-examine your entire portfolio. And one of the best ways to combat inflation is to make sure that you are properly diversified and fully invested. In general, inflationary periods, whether short or long-term, present a chance to revisit your financial situation and make quick adjustments for what may lie ahead. With that said, those are the top three tips to combat rising inflation to protect you as an individual and your family. If you're interested in watching more videos on saving money, then what are you waiting for? Simply click the subscribe button and ring the bell icon because new videos are on the way. And we'll see you in the next one.